In this video, we are going to explain how to perform a copper certification test. When you purchase a WX4500FA product line, you will find the following equipment in the kit. You will find a pair of instruments labeled local and remote. A pair of channel adapters for performing channel testing. A pair of permanent link adapters and a pair of permanent link cords. A pair of headsets. A pair of chargeable AC adapters. A USB stick and a carry bag. Now, let's proceed to the set reference configuration using Wire Expert. When you power up both the units, you will end up in the information screen. For performing the set reference, we will need a CAT 6A channel adapter, a CAT 6A permanent link adapter, and a permanent link cord. Once you have the necessary equipment, connect the two adapters to the wire expert, and the wires accordingly. You can connect any adapter to either unit. Make sure you do not have anything else other than the equipment mentioned. If so, the set reference process would be inaccurate, and in most cases, there will be a notification that the set reference has failed. Once the connections are completed, Press the Tools button in the local unit and select the Set Reference icon. Follow the instructions on screen, and Wire Expert will carry out the Set Reference. A dialog box would notify you of a successful Set Reference, and the process is complete. Do note that Set Reference is not required to be performed every day, it's sufficient if you performed it about once a month. Once the Set Reference is completed, Let's move on to do a channel test. Unplug the permanent link adapter and the permanent link cord, and plug in another channel adapter. You would need, two patch cords in this channel configuration. We have a sample link for the purpose of the tutorial. Do note that CAT5E, CAT6, and CAT6A, if you are following the TIA standard, Class D, Class E and Class EA, if you are following the ISO standard, are all both supported by the same CAT 6A adapter. For Class F, Class FA, and the upcoming TIA CAT 8 testing, additional adapters need to be purchased. Let's set up the configuration settings. In this case, we are testing a CAT 6A cable. For setting up the configuration, you can go to the Quick Setup menu in which the default limits are set up. Or you can go to the Test Settings menu in which you can set up a more detailed limit configuration. I will select my limit to TIA CAT 6A channel, and my cable as a CAT 6A unshielded twisted pair. If you are performing a shielded test, make sure that the test limits are selected as shielded. If just one of them is not shielded, Wire Expert assumes that the link is unshielded and carries out the test as accordingly. Once the connections and the configuration setup is complete, press the Auto Test button to carry out the test. Once the setup is completed, the Wire Expert would show a summary screen of whether the test has passed or failed, the overall length of the link, and the wire map configuration. From the summary screen, you can select the respective parameter for a more detailed view. In the detailed view, the limit line is shown in red, and the four plots are shown in different colors. You can view your worst performing frequency by clicking on the worst margin button, and you can switch back to see your worst performing value using the same button. You can also click on a certain point of the graph in order to get more information of the respective point. By clicking the Manage button, you will find the menu in which you will be able to change the settings of the graph. You can tick or untick appropriately to see either the local and the remote checkboxes to view the respective plots. You can also view pair by pair, all pairs, or only the worst margin plot by selecting the respective radio button. You can click on the locator button to troubleshoot your link. Use the checkboxes to view or hide the required pairs in the graph.
For viewing all the parameters for the chosen standard, click on the search button to view a detailed list of all the parameters. You can also click on the required measurement for a more detailed view. Once you have completed testing, you can click on the Save button to save the test results. After entering a label for the test, you will be able to view it on your device later on. You also have the ability to export the test results into a USB stick and transfer the data into a computer for further analysis. Click on the Data button in the Wire Expert to view all saved data. Here, you can view fiber and MPO test results as well. Click on the Manage button to edit the results, and the Search button to view a list of all saved test results. To view the parameters, click on the required test and click on the Search button again. You can navigate the menus just as if you were navigating right after an auto test. Hopefully, this tutorial gave you a better insight in performing a set reference, a cable certification test, and how you can save and review your tests. Have a look at the other videos to explore on the other various features of Wire Expert. Thanks for watching.